Hello and welcome to the Daniel Man of Reason channel. Dr. Lawrence Kohlberg was looking for a universal theory of moral development that transcended culture. Based on his research, he concluded that moral development occurs in six stages, which he divided into three levels. Here you can see how each stage is like a building block, and you go from one stage to the next until you reach the top. Level 1 is called pre-conventional morality. Stages 1 and 2 are part of this level. Stage 1 is about obedience and punishment. At this stage, you feel that morality comes from authority figures such as your parents. And if you break the rules, you get punished. So you decide that obedience is the key, and you behave in order to avoid getting punished. Stage 2 is individualism and exchange. At this stage, you feel that people have different opinions about things. So if everything is relative, you might as well do what's best for you. Self-interest is the name of the game. You notice that there are rewards for doing the right thing, so you behave to get those rewards. You're also willing to do things for other people if you think it will benefit you somehow. Level 2 is called Conventional Morality. Stages 3 and 4 are part of this level. Stage 3 is about good interpersonal relationships. At this stage, you care about your relationships with others, such as your family, friends, and the community. You want people to see you as being a good person. So your morality is based on social approval. You want to fit in. You value things like love, empathy, and having good intentions. Stage 4 is about maintaining the social order. At this stage, you have a wider perspective on things. You become aware of society as a whole. You realize that laws are needed for society to work, so you follow the rules and obey the law. This is more advanced because now you're thinking more about why things are wrong. If everyone breaks the law, society would fall apart. Level 3 is called post-conventional morality. Stages 5 and 6 are part of this level. Stage 5 is about the social contract and individual rights. At this stage, you see that just because the society is functioning, it doesn't mean it's the best society. So you ask yourself, what makes a society good? You conclude that we should have a social contract that we enter into, which should benefit the majority. Yes, people in a society have different views and opinions, but everyone should have basic rights. And there needs to be some kind of democratic process where we can change laws that don't work. Stage 6 is about universal principles. At this stage, you realize that just because the majority agree on something, it doesn't make it right. The majority could make laws that are bad for a minority of the people. So you begin to develop your own morals. These morals are objective and universal. They apply to everyone. You believe in human rights, justice for all, and that everyone is equal. And you will uphold your principles even if you have to go against society. Even if you have to face social rejection or be put in jail, you will stand up for what you believe is right. So let's summarize. Stage 1 was about obeying authority and avoiding getting punished. Stage 2 was about choosing actions based on rewards. Stage 3 involved having good relationships by being a good person, while stage 4 was about law and order. In stage 5, it was about having a better society that benefits the majority. And lastly, stage 6 was true objective morality that applied to everyone and recognized human rights and encourages doing the right thing, even if you have to break the law in the process. If you found this video useful, give it a like. You could also subscribe, or even visit the Daniel Man of Reason Facebook page. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.